Pokemon. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pikachu's Pokemon. Sounds better when I think it in my head than when I say it out loud. Uh, we have a bunch of mail to go through today. Uh, we are going to be opening some mail. We're also going to be going through some stuff I got uh, in the mail over the holiday weekend. So that's going to be fun for all of us. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's uh, some stuff that's edging out my collection. That's not even what you say, Drew. It's, it's just, you know. This is where I put the credit sequence if I had one, but I don't. Um, so, shall we get started? Yes. Uh, I know that everyone's so worried about me showing my addresses, so I'm going to flip all these packages around. Didn't think to do that earlier. But at this point, come and get me, fellas. Uh, so what we have going on today is, I don't know, because I never know. I order stuff online. Uh, I know that I got some stuff over the holidays. I know I ordered some stuff over the holidays. I won this awesome claim sale on Facebook. This is where my life's at now, people. Uh, where it was like, you know, the first person to write claim gets the thing and you have to pay for it. But they're, they were doing this huge discount, this one seller. And, uh, ooh, you guys got to see that before I did. Uh, and I got some shinies. I got some, uh, some cool rainbows. I basically was like on that S so fast. Uh, it was amazing. So I also sold one of my base set cards, which I'm trying not to do because I am trying to sell them as a group lot or if not an entire lot, then a, then a hollow lot, uh, just of the base set hollows. The weirdest thing about Pokemon I've realized over the weekend is that they, boom. They uh, have only 102 cards in the original base set, of which 69, that seems better, yeah, 69 of which, I know, cool number, are actually Pokemon. The rest are like trainers and the little energy ball things, I think they're called energy balls, uh, and yeah, that's what the rest of them are, so I don't even know where the 150 Pokemon, like original Pokemon comes from, because there's not 150 of them, there's like less than... 70 of them. Uh, and there's only like 20 hollows. So let's see, this is a nice, this is going to be added to the collection though. Um, I now need a Raichu because I sold the Raichu that I did not expect to sell. Ooh, hot. Now this guy's pretty. I like the shape of his mouth. He's a Nido King. Look at him. Wait, is he Shadow? No, he has a Shadow. I was like, oh my god, did I get a Shadowless Nido King? But I didn't. It's just a regular Nido King. Still, though, you know what? I'm not even going to put them on this little stand. I'm going to put them directly in my collection of Pokemon that I'm doing. Boom. He is number 11. So we have that spot open. See? Boom, boom, boom. That's where you're going to go, fella. Round it out nice and clear. Now, I do want to actually stop for a second. I <laughs> know I'm doing so well. And don't fall. Put in some of the other cards, which I know I got over the weekend. Like, by the way, this lovely Chansey. Look at her. I'm guessing it's a her because she has a sack for eggs, but I guess it could just be an egg cup holder. Uh, like, this guy likes hard boiled eggs and he keeps them in his pocket. Uh, his front tubes. Kind of reminds me of a Clee Fairy, but his name is Chansey, or her name. Uh, he's. He, God, man. He or she is number three. So let's oop, put he or she or them, however they prefer to be defined, in that number three spot. I've also got bow, 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 dun, 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 dun. and then that's everyone's freaking out because it's a Charizard. Now, to be clear, this is not a great Charizard. It's a pretty shitty uh, Charizard uh, TBH. But it is a Charizard nonetheless. It's a base set Charizard. It's got a pretty messy back, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, not super, like, this isn't going to go for more than 100 bucks. I think, if you put it, put it online by itself. But it's still technically a Charizard. See, the front is, of it is actually really, really nice. I really like the front. Very pretty. Pretty clean. Got a couple scratches in the hollow. It's the back that's kind of the issue. It's got this... Uh, got you know this thing on the end it's got this very clear like bend in it which for some reason is not visible on the front so it's like less a bend than I think a, a weird scratch and it's got like a bunch of scratches in it uh, not the greatest 
could have done better, honestly. There's a lot of whitening on the sides. But still, technically, Booyah Shaka. A Charizard. And we all know what uh, technically is the best kind of correct. So, this is going to go in my number four slot. Splot? Guys, I think I might be having a stroke. That's why this is going to be pre-recorded today. I've been feeling super sick all day. Uh, felt super sick yesterday, so... That's my little Pokemon story. Cried all day today while watching Harry Potter. Don't know about you. Um, and then traveled a lot in the car. Ooh, I got this guy too. Man, did I just get everything while we were gone? I think we did. I think I did. This guy, haven't had yet in a base set. Very excited to meet him and say hello. Please welcome to the stage our special guest, Geraldo Rivera. Now, he's a handsome chonk. I like him a lot. He's got this uh, nice little coloring. Ooh. Hey, chonk. Beautiful. Beautiful chonkers waiting for me. So he's pretty. I like the way of his lips. Uh, he's got some, a little bit of scratching on the hollow, but he's generally a clean boy. You know, in my head, I'm spelling it B-O-I-E. So that's how you know this is legit. Uh, so he's going in the number six splot. Splot. Again with the splots, guys. <laughs> and once again, I didn't do my hair and makeup. So I'm like going three for three on this channel. Uh, so we actually have a fully done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. It's nine. It's nine of these. Beautiful, beautiful boys. Um, we're missing number 14 now. And I don't know if 14 is a still hollow or if that's not a hollow. Because let's see. 15, 16. Stop being a hollow after 16. So yeah, this one's going to be a hollow. Let me see if I got this one in the mail yet. I don't, is that supposed to be like a Nido Queen? Oh, I got some nice other things I want to show you. Let's see. I don't think I have anything else that's like a big... Let's see, I have something here. I have, like, some stuff here I do want to show you. It's really exciting. How is everyone's fourth? I can't hear you because this isn't a live show, but I hope it was good. That I want to show you. Um, I'm not used to not doing live shows, so this, give me a second. Uh, no, I guess not. Maybe they will come in the mail today, and I'll be very happy. Let's see. You might have gotten in the mail today. Got a lot of uh, Asian cards, or Japanese cards, rather. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's nice. And I also picked up a couple more cards from Eric's uh, home because that's what I do. I like to go in his house and find stuff for me to touch. Um, I do want to show you guys another cool card that unfortunately will not be hanging out with its cool brothers and sisters because I sold some of the brothers and sisters. But here are two more cards that came while you were sleeping, aka whenever, uh, over the holidays. And boom, that is a banned Grimer. And if you want to know why it's banned, check out its little eyeballs. Check him out. He's looking up that woman's skirt. Yeah, he is. Don't even tell me that he's not. Like, if I push this in closer, you can tell. His eyes are all the way up there. They're looking all the way up there. Guys, come on. His eyes are just pointed up under her skirt. This is a band grimer. It's a very cool one. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. And it would have gone along with that weird mac lactating one that I also had. But uh, I sold that one along with the other band cards. So this one is just going to now go into its own separate file. I guess along with... It's another sad thing. I, I, ugh, I sold the um, Surfing Pikachu. Remember that from the other day? I sold that one. So now I have the flying Pikachu, which is his little brother, I'm imagining, in my universe. Uh, but I don't have his brother. He's already packed up. He's already going away. He's already going bye-bye. So, that's a little bit sad, but we'll live. Or we won't. And I'll just keep saying messed up words and sound like I'm dying. Let's talk about how the 4th of July is, is literally my least favorite holiday of all time. Oh, you know what? Flying Pikachu should go over Mimikyu, Mimikyu, Mimikyu and live with the other Pikachus. I just got to that episode of Pokemon where Pikachu goes and hangs out with a bunch of other Pikachus and that was pretty cool and I cried. 
because I don't, I don't know why, but I've been crying a lot lately. Uh, cool story about me. Uh, that's all my Pikachu pages. Well, that's one of my Pikachu pages out of many. What else did we get in the mail call from the other day? We got a... Well, we know her and we love her because I am her. Miss Magus. Boom. Mischief magic. Magic mischief. Her powers are... Let's see. I really do the lighting weird today. Uh, her powers are... Crash Chant and Horror Chant. Oh, I like her. I like her vibe. I like her whole... I'm digging whatever she's got going on. Horror Chant and Crash Chant. Oh, that's much better lighting. So let's put her in that special little area that I call the New Binder. It's a Psyduck. It has a bunch of things on it. And I love it. So Magic Magus Mischief whatever is going to live in here. Thought I, saw, I thought I started a page of just like cool ones that I like that are like her and some other ones, but maybe not. I'll have to go look for it. But for now, I will put her in Maneth make, Maketh Men. Manners Maketh Men. Which one is that from? I think that's from... Not the King's Speech, but it also has Colin Firth in it. The King's Men. King's Men. Golden Circle. Nope, just regular King's Men. But they say it in Golden Circle. So that's cool. Miss Magus, you're so pretty. I am for real. Never meant to make your dot cry. This is a Ponyta. It's a first edition. It's a uh, Team Rocket. So let's get this one um, in my Team Rocket first edition area. Guys, this might seem lame, but understand that this is the only thing I've ever done with my life that involves actual organizational skills. And so it's very important to me to get this right. Uh, let's see. These are not the right hollow pages. And yet I still can't seem to uh, ever find the right thing that I need. Because I'm amazing. Okay, so let's see. First editions. Oh, first edition Team Rockets. I nailed it. But it looks like we're all filled up. Oh. I can still technically put it in here. Team Rocket, go Team Rocket. Okay. So now this is done, should we put some more Pokemon in my Pokedex? I think we shall. I like how everyone's not like, hey Drew, like you're you're showing your ID or whatever, you're showing your address. People are actively like, I don't want to see your address. Stop showing me your address. Stop trying to make your address happen. Which is, you know, mean. Just kidding see what we got here. We got a note with this one. It says, Drew, I am right behind you right now. No, it's an, in it's an eBay invoice. So, as everyone knows, I love opening these things, and I love how well people are at uh, taping them together. So let's see how this one works. Blech. I feel blech today. Ooh! For some reason, guys, I ordered two of these. These gorgeous chonkers. These are Red Cheek, Shadow List, Pikachu, Base Set. I have two of them now. I know I'm selling one. I'm glad I'm not selling the other because these are gorgeous little chonkers. Yeah, 50 out of 102. They got the thin, eight, uh, thin 40 HP. See, see how they're written all thinner than like our normal one would be? Okay. Chonker Stan. I am very blessed to be living in the United States of Chonkersan. Boom! Next! I shouldn't be so gross about that. I shouldn't say next like that. I hate it when people are gross little assholes. Um, so we have something put up. Oh, wait. So I did put something. Okay. So I am missing some stuff that I forgot about. I have this little Pikachu. This little Chew. Hi, Chew. I love whenever I find Pikachus because they're just like so adorable. They live out in the water. Or no. That doesn't even sound right. Even if I was having a stroke. <laughs> I know that's not right. They live out in the... True, you just saw the episode. They live out in the field. This guy, I don't know where he lives or what his life is like when he's not around. But he's got like this crazy looking like 
Uh, psychic, I'm guessing that's psychic because it's got like a big eyeball. See? It's got like a big, like, uh, Illuminati eye on it. I don't know what his deal is, but he says hi. We've got this mag mortar that I do want to show you because it's very interesting. Look what this guy has that I don't have. A lens flare. See that part in the middle? I was like concerned it was a printing error, like a print line. But it wasn't. It's just like a hardcore lens flare that this card has. Like it's J.J. Abrams movies. So that's going to go here. And then, uh, whatever this is. It's pretty. I don't know what it is. It's pretty, though. So put those little chonkers there for now. Oh, and I knocked one over. I shouldn't be allowed to touch nice things. I just do love the little Pikachus. I've been looking at, like, other Pikachus I might want to get down the line in case I ever just start needing to say the word Pikachus a bunch. Um, Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. And I really want the gentleman, the gentlemanly Pikachu. It's basically a Pikachu that looks like a Hasidic Jewish guy, but it's not. It's a Pikachu. I don't know why to me it looks like a Hasid, but it does. Uh, it, a hundred, it a hundo percent does. One hundo. I got a bunch of like little birdie things. What does it mean when something says rapid flash or whatever? I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure I, don't, I didn't leave anything good out. Oh, this guy's name is Cosmog. I know because I just found another one of him. Cosmog. His thing is teleport. Young Goose and Stunky. Stunky! No address for you. This one comes with little stickers. It says minty. Oh, I get it. Like minty. Like how you're supposed to keep your Pokemon cards, and which I don't. It smells all minty. I think they might put mint in this, in which case, props on this person. Oh, shit. This is done up nice. I think this is probably, yeah, you can tell. that This is like a something I got from like a, oof, Jesus Christ. This is something I got from one of those sites, like a, what whatnot I think it's called uh, which is like a bidding site for Pokemon I highly recommend it if you like to use all your money on bullshit um, whoa this one's really cool looking this is a single strike which I guess is what I meant by rapid strike but I think there is something called rapid strike this is a single strike Taurus with the letter T so on these sites they'll open up um, your cards on air if you'd like them to uh, which I always do. Everyone does. That's why that's why you're getting cards, basically. So you can have somebody open them on air and figure out if you won big money and have everyone else on the internet figure out if you won big money. It's very important to us that you know if we did very well for ourselves. Um, which I have yet to do. Which begs the question, should I be using these apps if I'm spending hundreds of dollars? Oop. And I guess the answer is, leave me alone. It's my money. Ooh, child. Okay, I also have, apparently, that wasn't cool, but I did it. I'm sorry. A Galarian Weezing. If I had any editing skills, I would just edit that out. But I don't. So, yikes. This one's just a cool looking, I like Galarians. They're like, uh, they're kind of like alternative art ones. This one's, you, you can tell, Weezing is usually one color. This time he's a different color. I do like the Galarians. He's got suffocating gas, but he has energy factory as well, which is, and he's wearing a top hat, which I didn't notice. Him and his friend are wearing a top hat or him and his other head rather. There's a gullet, a crab baller, a sveal, a venipede, a furfru. Oh my God. Look at furfru. A whirlipede. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these guys. Remember how the new trainers are all so weird? Just as, like, the new Pokemon are? These are Justified Gloves. Classic Justified Gloves. Dyna Tree Hill. And then, like, the online Pokemon, which I have not yet learned how to do. I do think this guy looks weird. What do you think? Benipede. 
I think Fru Fru is my favorite one of these that are not like big names. So let's put them here for now. Move this over here. Guys, do you ever have those nightmares where um your Pokemon collection gets like um crushed? Or like you accidentally sit on it or something? Because I have been having those dreams constantly. Like constantly. Ooh! Actually, here's another Eevee evolution. I do like to keep the Eevee evolutions near and dear to my heart. Where could they be? Usually, guys, I'm going to be doing a much better job than this. But like I said, I don't feel so hot today. So I apologize. But I did want to get a video out because it's been a hot minute. Oof, but it is. It's taking a lot out of me to sit up straight right now. Let's see. Guys, remember I showed you that page earlier with Pikachu's and whatever? Do you remember what book that was in? Because I don't. Probably this one, if I had to guess. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Um, this is just another page of Pikachu's, by the way. Pikachu! Pikachu! Look at that. There's more Pikachu's. So many. I got the General Mills one, because I opened up that uh, card thing. You saw me do that the other day. Um, let's see. No, I guess I, I guess I don't know where it went. That page, that whole entire page of, like, Pikachu's and... Eevees that I was like putting that other Pikachu in. Don't you remember? I did like five seconds ago. Um, I'll find it. Here we go. This is going to go on the Eevee version of that because the other side of it is an Eevee evolution page. Ooh, child. Things are going to get. Oh, that's why. Because I have that song stuck in my head. That's why that terrible uh, thing that I shouldn't. Look at that. Look at that lighting. Is it also because I have like the other light on? I don't know. So, some more to get through. I am addicted to these sites, like, what, what not, and whatever, and I, I feel so conflicted about it, because I, on the one hand, I really need it, and on the other hand, kill it with fire. Uh, kill it with freaking fire. Unless it turns out I won some sort of secret bid. This one has some heavy chonkers in it. Let's see what's going on here. So again, these packs have been opened on air for the most part. Um, I don't think there's anything strange in here that I don't know about. Um, there might be. So we've got a pinecone thing. His name is Pineconio, uh, I think. Oshawott. He lives on the Oshawott farm. Uh, his thing is Water Gun. Uh, Sandile. His thing is Dredge Up, which is something I like to do. Talo with the double peck. Hot, hot Talo action. Weedle. With a bug hunch. Uh, croc, 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 Uh, then just the league staff. You know how I do. Macargo. Energy. That's what says Don Cheadle for a second, but doesn't. Then we have Pippikick. What set are these from? I don't know. Ask your mother. Chudy. Oh, I know this guy. DDN. He's got tail trickery. Love him. Whooper. I remember him from the Pokemon Go game. Yanma. Coding energy. So I guess it's coding. Uh, Galarian Stunkfish. So remember to keep this out because I do like the Galarians. That's special to me. Uh, a signature, a signature bath. Coolio. Another energy. Um, a Dom fan. A fortress. Now, what do we have here? We've got a Meowth that looks like no Meowth I've ever seen before in my life. What is this? What is this guy? I'm going to have to scan him, but what is he? That's not Meowth. That's not the Meowth I know and love. He's got Scratch and Furry Swipes. He looks like he's from a different set. In fact, he is from a different set. He's from a different set entirely. Oh, I guess he's from the second set I got. Okay. Then there's Trumbeak. Charging Trumpet is his name. 
And then also, his name is Dirt Pex. I like some hot Dirt Pex on my Trumbeaks. I'm going to go back and look at that Meowathan again in a second. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. And we got something else. We got a couple other things. I wonder if I won some auction. Because sometimes they do, they put your name in the raffle for, like, later. Because I don't remember getting any of these. This is my, I might have just have won something. Because, look, we got an Elder Gloss. Full art. Elder Gloss V. Oh, it's so pretty. We got an Espeon GX. Do you remember me winning this, guys? Did I did I say that I won something like this? Espeon GX. And a Crobat. Okay, the Crobat seems familiar. I remember the Crobat v, v Max. But basically, it looks like I got three hollows. Uh, like full art V or VX. V, so I got a V, I got a GX, and I got a V Max. And I feel like that's all from the same two sets. I didn't get three sets, I don't think. And even if I did, that's still impressive. Like three hollows for three sets. Like that's, or like three full arts, whatever these are. Let's see if they match the set. This one's a promo. So no, I couldn't have won this one. This one's a promo card. This one, I mean, I must have won this one like at an auction off screen that happened like while I left, after I left the bidding site. So this is why you should always go to sites like or apps like whatnot and bid on Pokemon and I have no problem with how much money I spend on there. This one's so cute. Look at it. Espeon. Okay. I see you, girl. Would you shut up. So guys, remember always, always, always scan your stuff. Scan your stuff over on the TCG app just to keep a track of what kind of cards you have because it's important. I always lose track about what kind of cards I have. Then I forget to list cards and I just have a stacks and stacks of cards and nothing going on. Ooh, what's in here? Okay. De-evolution spray. Base set one. It looks like there's something else in here. And a Pokemon Trader, number 77 and 71, which I'm guessing means that they belong in my booklet of things that go right in my life. No, my booklet of base generation. The only reason I would get two trainers, which is what these are, two trainers, is that I need them for my... Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Hey. Recording a video. It's okay. What's it? It's okay. Will you edit this for me? <laughs> yeah. I think he said no. So this is the evolution spray. That will not be edited from the video because I don't have... Uh, he's working really hard and I don't have anything to do with that. Uh, so, yeah. So this is all the trainers. This is what I'm saying. Like, So this starts at like 71. And they're all trainers. And that's like all energies. So I'm trying to get a whole base set, just just for my own edification. I'm trying to get a whole base set going. I think I'm only missing, yeah, at this point I'm only missing like one of the actual Pokemon, two of the actual Pokemon, because I just had to celebrate you. I'm missing like this guy, whatever goes here. I'll have to double check. I think maybe that's a Magmar, no, Magmar's right there. I don't know what's there. And I think this is where Raichu went, so yeah. Once I get Raichu back by getting another one and get a Bleep Blurp, to go whatever this is, number 29, I will have a complete base set of Pokemon, if not the whole base set. And that'll be fun for me. That's going to be really fun for me. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, this thing messed up. Let me get it back. Pokemon. Okay. A couple more. Thanks for sticking with me this whole time, by the way. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and comment and do all those fun things. Rate. Kill me. Please kill me. Ooh! <gasps> yay! Oh my god, yay! Oh my god, yay! You guys know what I got? You can tell I really am happy because of the way that I'm smiling with my teeth, which I hate. Uh, guys... Oh my god, so excited. Oh, they included another guy. Thank you. But I don't need that other guy. Oh, I'm so excited. Those are terrible noises, but I'm just so excited. Oh god, why would they do this? Why would you put the paint on the inside of the card? That's so dumb. 
No one asked you to do that. Okay, well, whatever. At least there's painting tape. Imin Canu. It's another one of those guys, the, the Nard guys. This is like a real life version of him. Like the Noid dude that they have on Pokemon cards. It's so cool. He's so cool. He's my best friend. He's going to go in with all the other Noids. Uh. Yay! I'm very impressed by him. He's my. Imakuni. It's one of the Imakunis. Remember how I had the three that were running away from the. or running towards the. Do. Do. Do duo? Yeah, well, now I've got this guy. Remember, like, it's the same dude as it's on this card. So this dude, this Nard, I think, is the same dude as this dude. I know they look different, but if you see their little hats are the same, even though they're different colors. So until anyone tells me differently, I'm going to assume that they're the same dude, and this guy's going to go live with um, the Grimer. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I love him. I'm trying to buy some more of his stuff, like the Noid thing, but, uh, because I only like the weird cards. But, I don't know if I can afford the rest of them yet. There's, like, a whole line of the Coco promo ones that I really want to get. This is fragile. I like my heart and, like, my stomach lately. So let's start with the other one. This one didn't say fragile on it, so if I tear it open and something rips. Oh, damn. There's like a hundred cards in here. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck to my finger. Freaking tape. Put these over here so I don't mess them up. And then we'll go through these. Oh, these are... These are not... Does not look like these are, uh... Pokemon. These look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are all Yu-Gi-Oh cards. For some reason... Oh, I know what these are. This is like a return thing, because I accidentally sent this woman the wrong set. So I know what this is. But it, you do have to mention that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has some cool-looking cards, even if these are, like, kind of worthless. I sent her the wrong batch. But these are, like, the little seahorsey thingy. There's a... <laughs> you guys didn't hear my whole Yu-Gi-Oh rant. I'll do it some other time, but, like... Why, with cards that look these cool and badass, is the whole show and the whole concept about a trading card game? Like, just no, make them real in the world of the fantasy. Don't make them into more cards. Vampiric orchids? I mean, look, guys, that that's a cool-looking vampire orchid. It's a tree. Evil tree. Uh, there's Vampire Awakening. Apparently vampires are real big in this universe. There's Herald of the Abyss. Hi, Harold. There, oh, yeah, I remember this guy. This guy I'm going to save because I do think he's funny. There's Hysteric Sign. He good. So that's just some stuff I need to put away. And then we're on, I think, to our last package of the evening. I think Googly Moogly. But this one's a big one, so... It sounds like it's... Ugh. Next time I'll bring scissors, okay? Next time, guys, let's let's go camping. This person is very silly. They put inside of a bag, they put a box. This says... Oh, it has a cute little sticker on it. I take back what I said. Sword and Shield. This is obviously from a set that I got. Um, they put a sword and shield sticker, so I'm guessing that's what I got. Oh my gosh, and guess what, guys? Inside this, you know, remember how I got this in, in this thingy? This purple mailer? Well, inside this box is another purple mailer. This is straight up overkill, but I appreciate you. I appreciate the effort. Let's see who, who sent this. Uh, uh, let's see what I got. You guys have no idea how hard I'm trying not to vomit right now. Oh ho! We're just right on the top. I've got something very impressive to show you. Super thrilled about it. 
A Galarian. Oh my god. A Galarian Ponita. So that's cute. It's like a Ponita that is also a unicorn. But straight up, don't even worry about that because the next card we got, guys, it's one of these things. Uh, I remember the name. It's not Espeon. It's uh, not. It's one of the EV evolutions, but I can't remember its name. And it's super cute. It's like pink little bunny version. Gosh. Some remind me of this thing's name. Pinky. Maybe it is an Espeon. I don't know. Uh, they're called like Umbrian, Espeon, Galarian. Is there one called Galarian? No, the Galarian's the other thing. Then I also have a Troxel. That thing's so cute. A Toxel. Sorry, it's a Toxel. It creates a Toxel work environment. <laughs> I think I'm so clever. A uh, trainer in the fossil set. What the fuck? What's this guy? I don't remember getting this guy. He's a Delarian. Duralardin. Hey, baby. He's a VMAX. Looks like. No, just a V. Take him out of his little shell. He's cute. I would take him home for dinner. Delarian. His power is hard coat. Oh, I know it. He's so cute. I love him. I'm gonna keep this little guy. Oh no! Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! I mean, he probably was not worth the price I paid for him. Just looking real quick, quick at that bumper sticker, but we'll never know. There might be some other stuff in here. There's a Meowth rocket set. Oh my gosh! I might be taking back what I said. I don't remember getting any of these cards. I don't know how this all came in like a short sword and shield booster pack. This is a first edition uh, Machoke from Team Rocket. No, yeah, from Team Rocket. That's a nice little chonker. I love him. This is not like a terrible pack at all, actually, by any means of the association. Uh, I just don't see how this is Sword and Shield. This one's clearly a Jungle Mr. Mime. This guy is a Cedra first edition. Oh, gosh. This whole thing is like very nice. Look at that. That's from the fossil set. These are nice boys. Drew, don't try. Don't try, Drew. The trainers. The first edition Meowth. Oh, I didn't notice. Meowth is a first edition. These are all like first edition cards. These are nice, guys. Dang. Okay. Oh, this is a first edition trainer. My god. Look, these are all first edition. Drew, put this somewhere nice and be a good girl. Be a good girl. First editions are nice. They're tight. So, this is like another package that came with it. Drillbur. Another Didion. This one's a Ferroseed. A Skidoo. <laughs> I like this guy. Zap. Blitzel. Blitzel's cool. Blitzel can hang. I'm gonna put him over here because he can hang. Uh, B. She's a person. Grog. Exadrill. Another energy. Ooh. Then we have two things in here. I don't know why this would be impressive. Uh, they put in. This isn't hollow or. I guess maybe this is just like a five star one. By that, I mean it has a star on it. A fortress? Did anyone tell me why this one's important? Like, why this would be its own sleeve? This one was, like, packed in its own sleeve and, like, given a special status. Is it because of this thing? No, that's just a pine cone. I'll keep it out anyway. And then, ooh! An Aracuda. This one's a reverse hollow. Pretty boy. This is a good set, though. Thank you to... Uh... I don't know. Thank you to somebody. And I think that's all we have for today. I think that's it. Yeah. 
So guys, 